Hey there, boys and girls of the YouTube world. Today, Duff Dog and I are gonna see if we can't get a 1985 Oldsmobile Cutlass 442 edition running. That's right, we're gonna do a G-Body. G-Bodies are hot, everybody loves G-Bodies. Just kidding, love them or hate them. Probably the most versatile car ever. They're roundy round cars. They do the G-Body shuffle down the racetrack. The lowrider guys love them. The guys who are in their mid 40s love them because they were the cool car to have when they were a kid. But I mean, you can pretty much do everything with these things. You can go straight, you can turn left, you can bounce, you can daily drive, you name it. So this here is an 85 version. It's a 442. Don't call it a 442 because it really upsets the Oldsmobile crowd. And those guys, they're a little bit touchy. Oldsmobile quality. Feel it. Let's take a look at this thing and I'll show you some of the things that I learned are the difference between this Cutlass and the other Cutlasses. So this is an 81 grill. The right grills are in the car. They change these grills from year to year. A buddy of mine picked this car up. He bought the 63 from me. That's not the 63, but it looks just like the 63. That's a 65, that's another story. And he, when he picked up the 63, he said, hey, I got this 85 I just picked up. I'm gonna steal it for parts for my Herstol's lightning rod car. And you wanna shoot a video of it? I said, sure. So it's an 81 grill, the 85 grills are in the car. Uh, they made these things through 87. The 87s have the composite headlights. The Hearst Oles cars have the lightning rod shifters. Those are pretty swanky. They got the wing on the back and then they got like a Ram Air cowl induction hood, something like that, different hood. The 442 difference between a regular Cutlass and the 442, you got 15 inch wheels, all the other Cutlass said 14s. This is an 83 anniversary edition Herstol's wheel where it's got the chrome with the red ring. This is the correct 85 wheel where it's got the gold insert with the gold ring. Also with the 442, you got the bigger sway bars, you got the 8.5 rear, you can only get 373 gears, you got the 204R, transmission with the heavier duty clutches that transmission and that rear end package also came in the grand nationals i think the regal t-types and the monte carlo ss's as well and then you got the two-tone paint scheme package i think you could get a couple of different interior colors this of course is gray i think you could get red as well maybe i'm wrong but they're all bucket seat console shift cars this one does have the power seat power window option and it's got a pretty rare from what i'm told remote mirror on the right side am fm cassette factory tack this car shows 68,000, so probably 168 all these cars at 85 mile an hour speedometers but the 87s had a 115 or 120. swappy that's my buddy he was here left a note and his boy jackson He's taking this interior out to put in his, I believe, 83. I don't know, he's got a Hearst Oles that he's putting this interior in because he's got one that's missing the interior. So this is gonna be a parts car, but he's got some guys lined up to pretty much snag up all the parts. But if you do need some parts, hit me up. I don't know what he's gonna have left when we're done. It's a T-top car, that was an option as well. It's got new exhaust. I guess they parked it because it's blown up. It's got a 350 in it. Should have had a 307. When they blew up the 307, they put this 350 and then they said they blew it up. She's pretty chewy. He said it's not worth fixing. I don't know. It's got a really sweet tint job. Heated rear window. I don't know. Is that factory option? They all get that. It's been off the road since 99, so 22 years. I really don't know a ton about these things. Not a G-Body guy. There's the factory inserts for the 85. You guys ever smelled mothballs before? How do you get them to spread their legs apart? <laughs> That's oh, a knee slapper. <laughs> 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 
that joke's rock. You can see there's the 81 grill versus the 85. Smaller honeycombs than the 85. What else is in here? Oh, look at that. The cassette holder. Sweet. AC, I'm guessing they all had that. Oh, there's the remote for the right mirror. Got the light in the mirror. Oh, those are the coolest. Or the visor. There's the handle to take your T-tops off. They tinted those super poorly. What do we got in here? Oh man. The original build sheet. She's about to turn to dust, so let's take good care of this thing. Oh no way. This thing had a 3.8 liter V6 with a two barrel. I didn't know you could get a 442 with a V6. That's wimpy. Auto trans, power steering and brakes, leather wrap steering wheel, rally gauges, contour reclining, bucket seats, Delco AM, FM dual speaker radio, fixed antenna, sport colored mirrors, remote, headlamp on warning. Oh, it's got a buzzer. Console with floor shift. Stabilizer bars, heavy duty, super stock wheels, tires 195.14. So is this thing even a real 442? I don't know. Oh yeah, there it is. Cutlass 442 option. W42 they call it. Includes suspension package, 5.0 liter HO V8. So it did have the V8. Those must just be standard options up top. Automatic transmission with overdrive, dual exhaust, outlet, chrome wheels, 215, 15s, white letter tires, black and silver metallic. Oh yeah, that's right. It's got Seek and the equalizer. $10,000 one year seat belt user insurance. Six way power seats, door locks, power windows, trunk lid power release, all floor mats, T tops, window defrogger rear, C49, AC, rear axle 373, block heater, cruise control, tilt steering. Oh, that is pretty cool. 17 and 24 miles a gallon. Total amount. 16 grand after $4,636 with options and a $414 destination charge and a high capacity battery. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. 16 grand for this sucker brand new in 1985. You know, I'm sure you could swindle them down to 14. Cuts owner's manual, the Cutlass Salon. I'm sure it doesn't say anything about drinking your battery acid. Oh yeah, there's some mouse poops in here. He said it stunk. I don't think it's that bad. I mean, compared to most of the stuff we got. Duff has lost interest. Oh, Duff, you missed out. There's a little sleepy buddy down there. Five volt, took a nap. Oh, she redlines at five grand. A 307, she really ripped. This thing was probably like whopping 150 horsepower. Uh, I'm guessing she used a little oil. Well, there's a fresh oil change there. Ready to go. Full size spare, the jack, that floor mat option. It does have a whole oil change ready to go. We could do like our first oil change here. She's uh, a little rusty in the floors. T-top bags, I think. Yeah, oh yeah, T-top bags. We got the uh, body by Fisher on there. Yep, no sub back here, no bodies. That's good. There's got all your options in there. You can see just how faded the paint is. What it should be, what it is. Maybe you could bring it back to life. You don't really do much for bringing paint back to life around here. Spare keys even. Let's see what we got underneath the hood. Oh, that's the other option. The chrome dual snorkel air cleaner that was only on the Hearsts and the 442s. I guess this has got like 3A heads, meaning it's a 350 versus 5A, which would be the 307. I don't know. Don't know much about those mold piles. It's got HEI and it's got a quadra puke. We know how to make those run. Not good, but run. Look at this conglomerate crap of plumbing, wiring, everything combined. Nice big T with some reducers. AC must not have been working. Guessing the compressor locked up, so they just took the belt off. Oh, oh yeah, 
Compressor's locked up. Looks like everything's there. Is this the first thing we've done with AC? Probably. Pretty newish belts, it looks like. Only 20 years old, no flexi hoses. All right, I'm in. I'm gonna pump up some tires. Try to figure a way to drag this thing up to the shop. And Duff, my helper, is left. I think the neighbors are grilling out, so. When there's food involved, he gone. Oh, you know we could pump the tires up with. You think of what I'm thinking? The new mobile Mortski rig? Let's do this. Oh man, she's way better than a Torola. That didn't go so awful bad. I guess now we just find a side post battery. Oh no, oh no. She been convert, oh. We need to find a, a dual terminal. Interstate DT78. Carriage bolt, what's that for? And we do have keys. I'm guessing 20 year old ethanol from Minnesota. Not gonna be good, so we'll probably just go ahead and cut the fuel holes right off the bat. None of that's gonna go in the floor drain, Greta. How dare you! So, grab a battery, cut a fuel line, see what happens. That looks like Lee Belt Homes is our battery sponsor this week. Not the ground. Better be, because that's the side of the battery it's on. Son of a biscuit, the battery hole down's even there? We probably just threw the hardware away for it too. Whoopsies. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We don't even know if this thing's gonna run. Door chime. Duff's already made his home in there. Where's the fuel pump on this? Same size as the small block Chevy? Yep. Oh, we got a return line even. Man, we're getting into the late model stuff. 85. The newest thing we've had on the channel. There, we got that cut. Why is that so tight? We don't want to lose this air filter, air cleaner, whatever. Probably worth more than some of the cars I bought. So many vacuum hoses. Well, the quadruputic ain't all stuck. We'll bump the key, see if she cranks over. Bad connection, no way. All that oil in the back, is there any in the engine? Full. Good work, Jimmy.
Shout out to Pan Auto. Whoever reached out to Pan Auto and sent me these battery cable ones. Provided that fixes our issue, but I think it was. That cable was pretty chewy. Sweet! I'm glad it was a battery cable end and not a starter. I don't have any Oldsmobile starters. Maybe Oldsmobile starters are the same as a small black Chevy. Let's give her a tickle of hot sauce. On the old quarter puke hole. Let's see if it knocks like they said it did. I don't even know where to... Where's the vent hole on these? She just put it everywhere. Slingshot engage. Slingshot engage. Where is the vent? Here. Listen for that knock. Hope it went away. something but good enough for the girls I go with I think it runs okay-ish so I think I'm gonna grab fuel tank and we can strap it right in that gaping hole on the grill which is perfect because it's on the same side as the fuel pump I think we just got to plug off that return line should be okay Let's see what happens where's the fuel tank off still in that 60 Ford yeah probably all right let's do this look at how good that fuel cell just slides into that grill opening now provided that fuel pump works picks up some fuel we should be good to go hot huh, Duff and my plug in the return line on the fuel pump works doesn't screw something up we have a letter eat oh man looks like we had the tailpipe cam on the wrong side Let's see if there's any more left in there Oh, this quadrupeep's got wires going to it. That's how you know it's good.
don't know about you, Duff, but that might be the issue. Actually, it just seems like moisture or gas. It's not oil. Does it have brakes? Check the brake fluid. Oh, yeah. How about a transfusion duff? It's got one of them? Well, we know it's got one. Oh, pushed it too hard. Got the brake light to come on. Shoot, the tachometer even works. Oh, she goes right to six grand. Put her in the ketchup, as Peg says. Didn't like that. I think we ruined it. Do we have uh, reverse mode? Forward mode? Oh yeah. Oh, you don't like burnout stuff? You just like donuts? Oh, this thing's gonna be good. I don't know about that. It's not making the terrible racket that they said it was making. It's got brakes, goes forward, backwards. I even spun the tire a wee bit. Look at that. Black Mark Duff. I thought these things had posies. They lied. Well, as you can see, it's getting kind of dark. So I think I'm just going to have a couple sandwiches and call it a night. Heck, I don't know why I'm going to wait. I'm just going to have a sandwich now. Oh, hey, look, this one's got lichens on it, too, which is an algae and a fungus. The algae provides the moisture for the fungus or vice versa. I don't know, my science teacher was here tonight. And he had to give me that conversation. Synopsis or something? Some synth synthesis? Chlorophyll? More like borophyll. Right? probably more than you guys wanted to know about lichens but yeah oh this blonde she's playing hard to get what do you think Duff ready to go test on it tomorrow I mean it's got Cooper's white letters out white spokes yeah I think on a car, I would rather have Kregers than white spokes. That's how much I like white spokes. On a pickup, I would rather have white spokes, but I, I despise them both. And white letters out, that's for real cowboys. Unless you got a muscle car that, mm, then it's mildly tolerable. You got anything puking out yet? Oh, we should unhook that chain. Grab that chain out from underneath there. I don't even know if we need to put a strap yeah, we probably need to put a strap on there. We don't want to have a whole fuel tank dragging like the fuel line was on that 60 Ford. I hope it's not the fuel line dragging. Oh yeah. It's definitely the fuel pump and the fuel line that's dragging. Yeah, tie that up. He doesn't care about this engine anyway, so I think we'll just leave the air cleaner off. I guess we could find a bolt for that, but I don't think that's going anywhere. Do the windows work so that we can not sit in the stench of dead fievel? Oh, I bet they're super slow. Oh, Duff side works. Son of a biscuit. Oh, it's trying. 
Remember how god awful slow these 80s GM power windows were? We're gonna leave it up just a little way so I can latch onto it with my fingers and help it back up. Power locks? Not a chance. How about the seat? Uh, it just makes noise. Radio. Power. Oh, that's like three vehicles in a row that we got radios that work. You got any cassettes around here, Duff man? No darts. Oh, I thought that was the world's largest bobby pin. Maybe it is. Maybe she was a big gal that drove this thing. Probably. So. I don't know. Is that the way T-top guys have those? Is the head like that? I guess we'll leave it. Light work on that? No way. Oh my gosh. Here, I'll fix your cobwebs on your side, Duff. Cool. I'm half tempted to take the T-tops off, but I'll probably ruin them. <laughs> Not my car. Nice! Oh, this thing is so ready to party. Oh, hey, look, it's the annoying neighbor that drives too fast. He actually slowed down that time. Maybe somebody saw him out here and told him. So how does this work? Must be two of these things. That's what I would guess. Somebody's screaming at me right now for not washing this before I put it in the bag. Oh, sure enough, two of them. Dang, Duff. We are ready to party now. Dang. Just totally changes the look of this thing. I did notice on that side she's getting a little soft up there. Is that broken glass? No. I'm guessing these uh, T-top cars are pretty prone to rusting out up here. Never really did see the whole allure to T-tops. Then again, not really a convertible guy myself, so wannabe convertibles are even worse. At least it doesn't have a vinyl top, so it rusts out like the 74 Camaro did. This is where it gets good though. Real good over here. You can see, just uh, oh, put your finger through right there. Yeah, she's soft. Dang it, they ain't gonna seal back up either. This thing's gonna be so good. Oh, that white letter is hideous. Wish I had another rally around. There yet. Wish it wasn't dark. Shoot you guys video in the dark with this thing. All right, I'm gonna tie up that fuel tank. Um, put a clamp on that return line so we're dang sure it doesn't leak. And then I think we're pretty much ready to rip. Might go dig, see if we can find some Aerosmith cassette, maybe some Black Sabbath, Poison, I don't know, some 80s hair band. There's gotta be a few good ones. Rat, little Def Lep, little Duff Lep. What do you think? Duff Leopard? Not impressed. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow, or in several seconds on the big screen that you're watching on, or your smartphone, whatever. Stinky is not sleeping inside. Not you. Wanna go for a ride? Come on.
know we gotta do it. You guys silly? I'm still gonna send it. <laughs> got a little bit, but Duff, you got all the action on your side. You smell that? That's burnt rubber. That's pretty good. For something that's been sitting for 22 years and has a blown up motor. Yeah. This thing's going to be good, Duff. It's going to be good. Yeah. g Yeah. That's a... Uh, that's a lot of brake fluid, huh, Duff? Don't worry, I'll stop before I get some floor drain. Well, you know we weren't just gonna go ripping around in this 80s G body without uh, strapping the old mullet on, huh? Oh yeah, freaking Duff loves the mullet. Loves scratching himself on that door too, don't you, Duff? He's no dummy. Pets himself. Well, I tell you what, let's get after it. Well, there's the carnage. Hopefully she fires up tonight. You know, I can see these things being great in the winter, keeping your neck warm, but, oh man. She's a little hot in the summer. I don't know what this thing's made out of. Tears of PETA members, maybe? Who knows? Oh yeah, the old 442. Oh, I suppose we got a hook of battery cable up. Go right in. Ah, uh, shoot, I forgot to get our cassette. Come on, baby. Oh, who wants to go? Where's the F image? There we go. Full advantage of the mullet. Waving them again. Dang, that's a bit of a flow. Can't see nothing out that rear window. That's mostly because of the tin. Dang, that new exhaust, she sounds pretty good. Oh, don't mind that black cap. We ain't going after that. We're chasing chicks tonight, not cap. Oh, I forgot about the brakes, or lack thereof. It's just on the rears. Oh, you like them spinning tires? You like them spinning tires, do you? This thing's like freaking glass. She's smooth. It's like Keystone Lights. My name yeah. is Keith Stone. Keith Stone? You're so smooth. Always. You guys remember the old Keystone commercials? Oh yeah, she breaks them loose at 55 even! Get a little squirrel, you might have to put on the three-point seat belt. Oh yeah. She just loves it. Oh man, this thing glides down the gravel at 55. I'm pretty sure this thing would uh, be the winner of the three-pole race. Throttle her back a bit. We end up going tchotchke, end for end. We're gonna ejecto out the roof of. Mullets get in 
the mouth. Tastes like Windsor Canadian. Bad decisions. I just want to hang your arms up. It's good stuff. Temp ain't to 220 yet. Still got oil pressure, still running. Inches of awesomeness. What is Oldsmo Pile? Oh, we need a headliner though. Put that on the bucket list. Freaking exhaust even sounds pretty good. So versatile. Low riders, straight line drag cars, you can restore them, circle jerkers. Man, they just do it all. I don't know, there's probably some things I'm forgetting. I'm sure somebody made one into a mud truck. I'm sure a lot of guys have made them into mud truck, actually. Especially Malibu's. Oh, yeah, and G Body Monte Carlos. That's just it. They made them into pickups, too. They're a pickup. Factory pickup truck. snaps right up to it. But I could hit 9,500. No valve float or nothing. Loves it. Pump gas even. Didn't even diesel. That she pops right off too. This thing is good. Way good. Well, there you have it. Morse Gear Repair's first G body revival. As easy as that went, and as much fun as this thing is, I think I'd do another one. Anybody got a line on a Money SS or a Grand Smashinal? That would be key. Find that rabbit. We might have to go have a sandwich. See if there's any chicks over at the rodeo fairgrounds going on. Hit that up. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. Check out the other videos. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go do some more G-Body things.
like pickup chicks. Remember, doesn't matter how you get it done, as long as you're having fun. G bodies, they are fun. You gotta do something about that white spot back there, though. But this thing would clean up, kind of, except for the rust and the lack of paint on the hood. We even got the grills to slide in there. Oh, we probably should fix the brakes and address the fuel issue. 442. She's a real ripper.